Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a long time reviewing some Marvel Legend figures, and I do want to apologize for that. The reason why I haven't reviewed any because they are kind of out of my budget, and long story short, I got one of the old figures from last year, which a lot of people hate the movie. And the one I'm actually going to review is this. The 2021 Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Eternals. And the one I have here with me is a Jack. Now before we continue on, I need you guys to do me a little bit of quick favor, so I'll be right back. Before this video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my gaming channel, go to my Instagram to buy something on my Steam, and enjoy the video. Make sure to go ahead and do that, and follow me every social media, social media I have, and make sure to go to my Patreon to um, support this channel if you guys want to, just please support this channel all right i i need new stuff so i can review for you guys so i have actually been waiting for this to go on clearance because when they're on clearance the price on it is a kind of a bit of horse crap for ajax for example 22 22 dollars and 97 cents still the original price like an actual uh marvel legend figures and now it's turning down to ten dollars I'm actually very happy I got it. I got this figure. Um, I got this at my local woman by Rowlett here in Houston. So thank God I got her. Uh, she is a Walmart exclusive, so that means, if you guys remember, uh, when the Eternal figures came, the mainline figures uh, were normal figures for the mainline, except two figures are from two for two different stores for exclusive. Ajax for Walmart and Cena for Target. Anyways, enough about that. Here it is her packaging, what it looks like. Here is the side of the packaging with the actual actress who played Ajax, which I forgot her name. The other side. And the back of the packaging, same artwork right here. If you want to pause the video, go right ahead and pause it. Nothing in the bottom. They had the Eternals logo right there on the top. And that pretty much that's it. Now I'm gonna go pause the video, show you guys what stuff that she comes with, and show you taking a look and uh, take a look over the figure. So, so Ajax it. comes with three accessories. Um, first one is is a different, it's the same head sculpt that she had, but without her helmet. And not gonna lie to you, it's kind of a bit look creepy compared to this we have here, but I'll show that later. So she does, she just have her hair down. I sculpted very well, not gonna lie to you. It's almost the almost the face is, I, I get the feeling like this face is not almost the same like the actress who plays as Ajax, but we will see. And she comes with some relaxed hands for the left and the right, so here it is. Alright, now we could get in on with the figure herself. Here she is, the leader of the internals, Ajax. The painting and sculpted the detail of this character looks amazingly well well the figure the metallic blue which is one of my favorite and this shade of gold that hasbro put is very lovely um the only major complaint about this figure is she does suffer some lack of paint of it which her helmet need to add a bit more paint to it in my opinion i think the suit also needs some more paint to it but um i think her arms need to be more paint to it because if you look right here, uh, some if you look right here, hers doesn't have any painted, so it is gonna be difficult to, to check which paint where to go. So yeah, you can see her head scope with her helmet on looks. Uh, she looked like she have a deaf, a blank stare instead of you know a happy face or a serious face, but she looked like she have a a blank stare. Now, articulation-wise, her head can go 360 degrees because it's, it's on a ball joint. She can look up that far because of the design of her hair. She can look down that far and she could pivot the head side to side. And she can move and she can move the head like that. And you can wiggle it around. Because her head is on a ball is in a darbell um barbell joint. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a ball joint right here, and there's another ball joint 
down there. So that's a barbell joint. So yeah, let's show you that later. Also, there we go. Her arms can go 360 degrees. Arms can go in and out. Swivel at the part, part of the forearms right here where the elbow is. A 90 degree elbow right here. Wrist can go 360 degrees. Wrist can go side to side like that. She can crouch. She can crunch and arcing back, leaving in this nasty ass hole right there. Legs can go forward. Not that much backwards, unfortunately, because of the design of the cape. And it is made of a rubber material. But if you can move this far, you can get it to have this far. Legs somewhat can go in and out, but like I said, the, 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 her giant ass cape isn't in the way. Swivel at the bicep. A double bent at the knee right there. Her, her feet, her ankle could go pivot up and down, and you can pivot the ankle side to side. So you do get some good possibility of this figure. And speaking of which, you can remove the her helmet. You can remove the head with the helmet, and you can put this on. Oh, it hurt. What up, the helmet? Which easier said than done. And it's look a bit uh, okay, I guess. I rather prefer with the helmet on because she looked like she is like not the leader. She almost looked like she's not the leader of the Eternals because I thought, well, I thought to myself because I'm that stupid. I thought Icarus was the leader, but now when I heard Ajax as the leader, it's like, oh, okay, never mind, I got missed. So yeah, getting the head off and the head on is. Kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Yeah, shit. But in the. What is it now? Changeable hands. Hands and get in there, you little bastard. And there you go, you got the relaxed hands right there. Looking pretty good. And of course, it can go side to side right here. And the fingers are like a rubbery material. Yeah. So you do get some posability of this figure. So yeah. Now I'm going to go pause the video, give her the final pose, and oh yeah. A lot of detail in her legs, by the way. But it just need more paint to it. So I'm going to go pause the video, give her the final pose, to give you guys uh, my final results, so I'll be right back. Overall, Ajax is a good, it's an okay figure, I guess. But I wish that she comes with, like, you know, accessories, like some effect piece or something. But overall, this is a good figure. Now, like I said, this is a Walmart exclusive figure. But if you're lucky enough to find it on Amazon for some reason, because Athena is a Target exclusive, but she also is on Amazon for some weird apparent reason. I have no clue why. But fuck it anyways. I don't give a shit anyways. Uh, this is a figure for you. So anyways, guys, um, I'm going to end this right here. So have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out. Change the world. Bye bye, little bastard.